To me, you're sitting inside of a gigantic scientific instrument. Uh, we are using uh, science and technology to treat wastewater and create drinking water on a scale that is almost unimaginable. What we have to do is remove everything from hormones to heroin, viruses and bacteria before it's ready to be served back to the public as drinking water. Sometimes I like to say that the science, technology, and the engineering were the easy part. It took many years, in fact, about 16 years of deliberation and thousands and thousands of meetings with the public to gain public acceptance for drinking water that was once uh, wastewater. Water weighs a lot, eight pounds per gallon. When you move a pound, a gallon of water, you have to move eight pounds of mass. And so if you imagine today, through this project, we're moving 100 million gallons of water into drinking water. That's 800 million pounds that has to be moved around on a daily basis. Because we're reusing the water that's already been processed, we're taking the variability out of the weather cycle. This facility is the largest potable reuse project in the world. So we take the secondary uh, effluent and then we run it through an advanced purification process, uh, utilizing microfiltration, reverse osmosis, and then UV light with hydrogen peroxide. So by the time it gets through that three-step process, we basically take in wastewater and turn it into distilled water. For us, it's extremely important. If we were to rely on rainfall, we wouldn't be able to fill our basin up. I mean, last year we got four and a half inches of rainfall the entire year. We're using a form of conservation through recycled water, uh, and, and we're doing it in a big way.